Hi, I'm Becky, an artist and instructor at the Bainbridge Island Museum of Art, here with another Art in Action. Today, we'll be creating snakefold books. The supplies we'll be using today are a pencil, a rectangular sheet of paper, a bone folder or table knife, scissors or craft knife, and a ruler. The first thing we're going to do is divide our paper up into 12 sections. And our first step will be to divide it um, into thirds vertically. Um, you can either eyeball it, I do it by folding it into thirds, or you can be more precise by doing this trick to measure it. And what you'll do there is you're going to fold your paper top to bottom and just make a small mark in the middle. And then you can take a ruler and draw a diagonal line from the bottom left corner up to that middle point. And then carefully draw a line from your left top corner to your bottom right corner. And where those two lines intersect will divide your paper into thirds. So you can fold your left side to that intersecting point and then fold your right side the same way. Next, we're gonna fold our paper vertically into fourths. We'll fold it in half top to bottom, and we'll fold our top layer back down to that fold, turn our paper over, and again fold top to bottom. Open your paper up and you should have 12 squares. Next we're going to take scissors or a craft knife and we're going to cut from the bottom of your first column along the fold until you get to that very top square. And then on the last column, you will cut from the top of your column down to that bottom square. And when you look at the shape, it should look like a letter N. I've turned my sheet of paper horizontally so that it looks like a letter S, um, and the cuts will be going from your bottom left to right and from your top right to left. Your page numbering will start at the bottom left with pages one, two, three, four. Then we flip our pages upside down for five, six, seven, eight, and flip them right side up again for pages nine, 10, 11, 12. Your front cover will be on the back of page 1, and the back of page 12 will be your back cover. So now I'm going to show you how to fold your snake book. This is a collection of photos that I took one in each month of the last year. Um, and what we'll do is we'll start at the bottom corner with page 1, and we will just fold it in accordion style and here you see I've got my upside down photos and there you have a finished snake fold book. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share any work inspired by this project. And until next time, it's art in action.